Mr. Obi. How are you today, sir? I'm very well, Miss Albertson. But call me Mecca. Mecca. Well, I'm glad to know you're doing so well. Thank you so much for coming by. We're very interested in your company. Well, I certainly hope we can be able to do business together. That's our hope as well. As you may know, I am this firm's international finance and business specialist. So anything outside of the country goes through me. Well, I'm in the right place with the right person. Well, if you'd permit me, I'd like to ask you a few questions so we can better understand the nature of our relationship and what needs we might fulfill for you and your company. By all means, please. Okay. What is your company's primary function? Sales. And what markets do you sell to? All profitable markets. What are your highest grossing products and their values? Highest grossing products. It varies. Your values vary as well. I'm getting the sense that ambiguity is your company motto. <laughs> Mr. Obi, you do understand that I need to do due diligence here, right? Of course, Ms. Arbutton. I also understand that my company is in need of some U.S. accounts. I'm not willing to transfer a large sum of money. Money your company would definitely benefit from. So, come on. How much due diligence do you need again? Enough to be certain we're not getting into bed with a new terrorist cell, Boko Haram. Forgive my ignorance, but you are from the north? South. South. And the violence is restricted to the middle belt and the north. Yes, but your president is from the south. New businesses, fraud, lots of money. I'm sure you understand our position. In my country, when a potential business associate insults our intention, or society, it's typically not considered due diligence. But I'm a legitimate businessman. I'm simply seeking partnership with a firm, a firm as strong as yours. They'll protect our assets for a substantial fee. Now, if you seem somehow disinterested, Hardwick and Johnson, your major competitor, seems very eager. As a matter of fact, I've received two emails as we're speaking instead of um, signing papers. Mr. Obi, we need a lot more clarity before we sign anything.